dare to be stupid. <laughs> That's how we live our lives around here. Hey, what's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself. And today we will be reviewing the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class. Rengar! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up top here, we have Rengar. He looks happy. He is happy. He's Rengar. And we have Rengar here in his vehicle mode, Power of the Primes. This is the Takara version, as you can see by the writing. He is PP41. Rengar, Deluxe Class, Class of Lusa, Class of Lua, Class of Deluxe. On the side, the symbols of the Primes. On the other side, we have this weird combiner with... Defensor's body, we got slag or slug, whatever you want to call it. Got, yeah, it's kind of a mishmash. Uh, down here, things and stuff that I cannot read. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have a one sentence bio if you want to read it. And that's basically it for the packaging. And also included is the collector's card with that same image there of a Rekdar. And on the back, he is Micronus Rekdar. Power links to share his ability to take damage and instantly reform. Yay! Hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have a Rekdar, and he is a recolor, slight remold of Combiner Wars Groove. And again, this is the Takara version, so um, I'm not totally sure what differences there are between this version and the American version. I've never seen the American version in person, so I don't know, but this one looks nice. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see the Autobot symbol right there on the front windshield. You get some nice... Silver paint behind the transclearant plastic, which looks quite nice. Get some silver details in there as well. And not a whole lot going on detail-wise. You got the uh, red rims there. Or spokes, rather. Whatever they are. I don't know. <coughs> and there you have the back. Again, not much to it. There's the top. There's the bottom. The wheels do roll. He does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And he also has... Little kickstand here, and there you have that. Then, for comparison, uh, here he is with the Reveal the Shield Rekdar mold. As you can see how that works out. And here he is with G1 Rekdar because he's precious! Oh, he's so precious. And here he is with Combiner Wars Groove, and you can see. In vehicle mode, they're exactly the same, just different colors. Now, one more thing to talk about in motorcycle mode is you do have some uh, articulation. Uh, the front wheel does rotate, so you get a little bit of a uh, little bit of steering going on there. So hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include the uh, pinwheel of murder death here, which is the same weapon that came with the original Reveal the Shield Rectar. And you just open up the blades there, and that looks very, very dangerous. But just close that back up. You can't store this on the motorcycle. You just uh, fold it in half, and what they want you to do is just clip it onto the handlebar like that. And it just hangs off the side. It's not elegant, but hey, it's storage. Stay. Stay. Then you also get the Prime Armor which is done in black and gray. And of course you can remove this bit and plug a Prime Master in there if you wish. And to store this, you just plug it up top here, have it that way, have it the other way, you know, whatever you want to do. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. It looks ridiculous, but hey, again, thing you can do if you want to do it. So that is basically it for the motorcycle mode. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> That's not good. So let's remove the weapons. And we can show off his combined modes. He does still have all the combined modes, so we'll go into it. So to get him into leg mode, we just want to undo this front section here. Rotate around. Bring that down. Bring down the kickstand. Just untab his arms. And then you just bring his shoulders all the way down like this. These are quite snug on mine. Yeah, well, bring it all the way down. And you want to rotate his arm at the bicep and his little tab. That will go into his forearm there. 
And second verse is just like the first. Let's bring that down. Yeah, getting very snug on mine. And just rotate that, tab that in. And we need to turn his head around because when we flip this around, it helps if you bring this out a little bit. So the head has clearance. Clip that back in. And there you have the leg mode. Hooray for legs. Woo. Woo, legs. That's it. So now, moving on to arm mode, we can just uh, bring that down, untap the forearm, rotate the arm around, bring the forearm up like that, untap, rotate, bring up, and we want to open up this section here, extend the legs, make sure these bits here are straightened out, gamma, gamma, there we go, and then we want to uh, split this back wheel here and bring it out to the sides and just close all this back up like so and then we just rotate so we have an elbow and then we just bring in the prime armor flip out the fingers do whatever you want with the thumbs and just plug it in and there you have the arm mode hooray hooray for arms Woo. Woo! 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 So, on to robot mode! Just straighten out his waist, split the legs, and we're all done there. Now we move on to the upper body, and we just bring up his shoulders, rotate the arms around, straighten them out, shoulders down, rotate down. We just bring this back a little bit so we can pop his head. Close that back up. And there you go. There you have Rutgar in his robot mode. And he looks okay. You know, I think the mold works for him. It's just the, the only real complaints I have is just his head is way too small. He just has a little, he has a little pinhead going on there. But uh, well, that's getting close here. So we can take a look at that head sculpt. Oh no, it is a pretty nicely done head sculpt, as you can see. Not too bad though, just really, really small in relation to the rest of his body. Face done in silver there, got a little bit of red, a little bit of silver there for his handlebar ears. He's got some red and black, those browns. But all in all, like I said, I think the mold works for him. He has the, the backpack going on there. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you get your wiggly waggly, wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can do a full 360. Shoulders can do a full 360, can move in and out. You also have this transformation joint if you need it as well. You do get bicep rotation, 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You get waist rotation. Hips are on a ball joint, legs can go forward, that far, back, that far, outward. You can pretty much do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, and nothing at the feet. They are just molded in place. And, of course, if you want, you can give him the prime armor. You can just plug into his hand there, so that can be a thing. There's also that, uh, that port under his forearm on this side. You can plug it in like that if you want. You know, just pull up the thumbs. I don't know. Hey, you know, hey, you know. All things you can do if you want to do them. I personally don't care for these, but hey, your toy, display it however you wish. But we can give him the big old pinwheel of murder death. And just plug that into his hands. He's got that going on. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with the Reveal the Shield, Rekgar. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with G1 Rekgar, because he's precious! Oh, he's so precious. Yay! And here he is with Combiner Wars Groove, and you can see... The only difference is just different head, different colors, but otherwise, the same toy. And with some of his buddies, here he is with Hot Rod. With Pup. And with Blur. 
And how does it scale with Siege? Here he is with Prime and Magnus. So, there you go. So, there you have Rekdar. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, I think the uh, Groove Mold works pretty well for him. My only complaint is he just has a tiny head. That's, that's really my only problem with him. But otherwise, pretty nicely done. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Power of the Primes toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Power of the Primes playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Rekdar, and this is Mgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, home in your face! Hey, look up, we finally found someone. Uh, be careful, kid. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, I'm going to use that universal greeting. Mm. What up, homie? What up, oh dear Primus, you're going to get us killed. What? That's not, that's not how it goes? I hear everybody saying that. We'll be back after these messages.